Hey, so this big guy DIY, we're gonna do number vlog four now. Uh, I'll show you quickly what I have done on the deck. So we got all the joists in, in place. This one I can't get in because of the support here. So what we're gonna be working on today, and I'm gonna put this in time-lapse mode, is <clears throat> you can see this existing joist this one is not pressure treated this is old it's three inch by five inch so I don't know where this kind of wood came from so we're installing a new uh, board all the way across which will be a four by six at 16 feet in length and then that will be secured to every single roof joists in here, it's nine roof joists using uh, a special lag screw called GR I'll show you GRK these are six inches as it says right there, five sixteenths so it's relatively beefy um, these are designed for pressure treated wood exterior use and so when the four by six goes up, it will be up this way, not this way, because this roof in relation to the flooring is actually pretty low, where in its current state, my head misses the current beam by about one inch. So we're going to turn the board sideways and secure it that way so here you're looking at what three and a half inches in thickness plus the screw coming through you're gonna get another uh, three inches into the roof joist itself so that's why we're doing that and I'll probably I don't know maybe I'll countersink them I haven't decided yet <clears throat> so once we get that board installed then I'm gonna install my new posts which are going to attach to my double joist here. We'll have one in the middle and one in there because at 16 feet, you want to split your difference at eight feet. And then um, the new posts will attach to the new joist or new roofing joist as a support that's going across. The old one here, I will be removing. Uh, I will have to cut that out but I want to do it surgically because as you can see looking at the board now when we ripped off or ripped out the old 2x4s that created this enclosure it made it a, an enclosed porch it just the the wood is so rotten it just ripped it apart and so I don't want to do any damage to the roof joist so if I can get in between the supporting joist and the roof joist and just cut through there cut the nails off that'll reduce any damage to the existing joists. So we're gonna set this up in time-lapse and we're gonna record it. So I'll just let you get a peek at what I've done so far. Now I gotta do some wiring. I gotta rewire stuff in here. Used to be a light here. We're gonna, I think, switch it to the outside here. So I gotta rewire it, put in all the metal tubing in there for the new you know galvanized tubing for electrical wiring that's outside
All right, we finished the posts. We finished this at night, so I wasn't able to record this. So this is the new pressure treated four by six beam. Uh, it was quite interesting getting in in there. You probably saw it during the time lapse. I had to pull out a pipe clamp to bend that board in because the board had already curved. One moment, Jack. The board had already curved. So we had to pull it in to get it to be um, straight. We took our, I forgot what I was gonna say, but we check our balance to make sure it's our level. And this whole thing is perfectly level to the bottom. The way we secured the posts, we use L angle on the top, and then <clears throat> we have it through bolted, through here and up there, and to here and up there. And we did that all the way across. That's for lateral movement. Since this roof is attached to the house and there's nothing else to prevent it from moving in and say a really heavy gust. On the bottom of the post, we did the L angles again. These are a one quarter, two and a half inch lag screws going into both. And then here, I got a six inch lag that goes into this joist. And the opposite side, I got the six inch lag going into this joist. And it's done the same way to this one. This one here is different because it runs straight down to the footing, as you can see, and it is lag bolted right there. <clears throat> so to give you a view of this on the back side, that's what we got. The old beam that's up here, right in there, that will be cut off. I have to cut that out in sections because I don't want to destroy the old roofing joists that it's currently attached to. So we're going to be cutting that with a special blade. So vlog five will be getting the decking in place. So this is a big guy DIY, Robert signing off. Give me a thumbs up. If you got any questions, rifle them down below in the comments. And I'll do my best to answer them. That's it. We'll talk to you on vlog five.